Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X2. In the last part we beat the 8th Maverick and now we have access to the final levels of the game, the Axe Center stages. There should be text there that's not appearing, okay? And now let's head in and hear my favorite song in the game. I love the first X Hunter stage theme. There's a reason it's the intro song. Uh, now, in this first part of the stage, you're going to notice that there's actually a lot of elements from the intro stage and such. Uh, I'm not sure if that's purposeful or not, but you're going to want to air dash here because otherwise you have to go through an annoying platforming segment at the bottom. I think it involves the Crystal Hunter. Gee, this doesn't look familiar at all. They bring back the Crusher sequences. There's one of those in every X game, really, isn't there? Aside from maybe X3 and 1. Well, not really every, but you know what I mean. And except now they're changing it up a bit and having different arrangements. The third one of which sucks. Well, the third overall arrangement. Uh, you'll find out what I mean when we get to it. <laughs> Now, for some reason, this scorpion robot has always reminded me of Scorpionok from Transformers. <laughs> well, they're not really robots, are they? they are they? They're mechanoloids. <laughs> and this is not the third one I was talking about. You'll find out what that is momentarily. <laughs> Hi, grabby arm things. I haven't seen you since the intro stage, and then we'll never see you again. Until right now, and then we'll never see you again. Also, I should mention, uh, you might have heard, I uh, barely just heard it. Well, first off, here's the, uh, third sequence with the, uh, Crusher segment. Uh, start off on the left, and then on the third one, uh, dash to the right, otherwise you might not make it. And this guy has a high probability of knocking you in like he just did. But, uh, I should mention, the, uh, Giga Crash actually isn't charged by physical contact. The Giga Crash is charged by projectiles, like, uh, lasers. So if you want to charge that up, you're going to need to get hit by those. You'll know because it has a different damaging sound effect. Anyway, the boss of the stage is weak against the Bubble Splasher, so let's take that out and get this guy over with. Hi, Violin. Violin has almost nothing new to him, honestly, aside from those two blocks which will randomly switch and can actually impede his progress upon killing you. They will legitimately block him like they did just there, actually. In fact, that is the gimmick with the first uh, couple of stages in this, is that you're going to be fighting some older bosses. Although, for some people, this actually might be the first time they fight the guys. Because the zero parts are actually optional. Uh, you'll get the bad ending if you don't get all three. Mind you, it's not that much worse. It's just that, actually, all it does is really skip one boss fight. What? How could he have overloaded my circuits? Yeah. That's right, explode you weird monkey man thing. What are you even? I think Violin actually might be one of the weirdest designs in the entire series. But with that, we got the first of the final stages over with. Rather quickly, too. Actually, I think the, uh,. X Hunter stages are the shortest stages in the game. Because we get uh, three of them done this part, we usually only get two stages done. Anyway, let's head right into X Hunter Stage 2. My least favorite stage in the game. Yeah, at least it has awesome music still. Um, now, the reason I hate the stage is not because it's underwater. In fact, it's because of quite the opposite. I actually quite like uh, water levels in Mega Man. Aside from that one in, uh, freaking, in, uh, no, actually, I, even in Mega Man and Base, I kind of like it. Hmm. Yeah, aside from maybe the Star Force games, uh, Star Force and Battle Network, I actually really like water areas in Mega Man. But the reason I hate this stage so much is that in the later half of it, starting right here, there's a lot of spikes and a lot of precision platforming that is difficult for first-timers. Needless to say, I was once a first-timer. <laughs> So what exactly are these rocket things I'm standing on right now, anyway? What is their purpose? Hmm. Needless to say, though, this stage is a lot easier if you have the air dash. 
In fact, if you're going for a speed run, I recommend at least getting the speed dash, uh, speed dash, air dash, and the uh, freaking buster parts because you can have a much easier time with things in here. And this is one of the times you're actually required to use the uh, crystal hunter, uh, bait this bat over and freeze him. You can actually make it over with a charged uh, speed burner, but otherwise than that, eh. Also, I learned something new right here. And this is me trying to get rid of the guy. <laughs> there we go, he's gone. Uh, there's stuff to the right, I forget what. But down here is actually one of those mechs from the beginning of the first level. I now know that you can kill these guys in one hit with the, spi with the spike wheel. That is awesome. Anyway, the boss of the stage is weak against the Sonic Slicer, so get that out. And oh great, it's a, it's a fight over instant death. That's always fun. And who could it be aside from the high surges? Uh, pretty much strategy for this fight, just use the charge uh, Sonic Slicer. It'll destroy the four cannons and then you'll eventually be able to damage him. But a uh, fun little fact actually, in the Mega Man X3 mangas, I forget which one it was because I know there's a couple of X mangas for each series, uh, Do uh, Surges was actually supposedly a Reploid version of uh, Dr. Wily. Mind you, that was never confirmed as true, it's just a fan theory. The same with Dr. Isaac in uh, X6. By the way, you can stand on this little platform here, it makes this fight intensely easy. I'm not sure why they do that. I mean, I can see this guy being uh, wily over Isaac, especially, because, uh, well, his final dialogue, especially. But yeah, his boss fight's nothing really special. Although, I can especially see why people think he's wily, because, oh, he's using a mech. Wily never fought with his own hands, which, mind you, made sense, because he was human, we and classic Mega Man is still a robot. And goodbye. <laughs> this is impossible. The prophecy must be fulfilled. Eh, uh, go rotten robot junkyard hell place thing. <laughs> but with that, two thirds of the exiters are down. I wonder who's the boss in the next stage. Oh, it's so obviously vile. <laughs> no, I really do like the design of the X2 ar full armor. <laughs> that was a random thing to bring up here, but I actually, in terms of design, uh, the X2 armor is my favorite looking armor in the series. Though I do like the, uh, sh I, th I, f I forget, was it called the sh blade? Uh, no, not the blade armor. Although the blade armor looks kick ass, don't get me wrong. Was it called the, uh,. Shade, shadow Armor in X6? The one that made you into a ninja? I forget which one that was. Anyway, we get a sec uh, the second X Hunter stage track, which honestly I don't like as much as the first one. However, the, speaking of X6, actually, this would later be remixed as the first uh, theme for that game's Final Castle. And it actually pretty kick ass remix. <laughs> then again, X6's soundtrack is just overall kick ass. Anyway, now we have these platforms again, except this time we can control which way they're going, although they always go in the four cardinal directions in a cycle. Needless to say, taking those things around can be kind of painful. Now, you want to go up here for reasons we'll find out shortly. Because, if you might remember correctly, I saw, said that we were done with upgrades with a certain special one aside. We're on a way to get that certain special something. And I only learned recently that you can actually take this entire uh, platform through this entire section. I forget if I do it. I believe I do. Oh, in fact, actually, uh, now that I think about it, this is probably how you're supposed to get to the certain seek or something. It's just that no one does it that way. Yeah, well, actually, that's how you're supposed to do it. Holy crap. Uh, what's going to happen is that there's a ladder over here to the right. I never realized you could just take the platform up there until just now. What I've always done is just baited one of these guy uh, bat bots over and uh, crystallized them. Which, mind you, I recommend you do it that way because it's much easier. Eh. 
Anyway, you're gonna want the speed burn coming up here, but there are enemies in the way you're gonna want to take out with your X Buster. Dash here. In fact, the air dash is needed for this. Then again, uh, you kinda need 100% to get to the thing we're getting to anyway, so, uh, yeah. Now, this section's fun. You need to charge up a speed burner and time it with an air dash carefully in order to, well, do what I failed to do on the first try. <laughs> However, I succeed on the second try, so that's awesome. Now, you're gonna need to be at full health for what we're about to do, by the way. On the fourth of these little purple things, you're gonna phase through it. Now, you remember how in X1 we got the Hadouken? Let's see what we got now. Wow, you are so cool. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Step inside for a special surprise. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Similarly to the Hadouken from X1, we get... The Shoryuken! Um, the Shoryuken, like the Hadouken in X1, you need to be at full health to do it, and you need to input a button prompt, which in, for, this, for this is forward, down, down, forward. And while it's more awkward to hit with, it's just about as powerful. <laughs> Although it's not a one-hit kill, it just does a crap ton of damage. And how do I celebrate getting it? By forgetting to jump. <laughs> Luckily, though, the, the Shoryuken will indeed speed up the time process thing for the speed boss rush much, much more. That made no sense grammatically. <laughs> anyway, boss that we're coming up here is weak against Magnet Mine. Gee, I wonder who it could be. But because I just got the Shoryuken, I kind of want to kill him with it. Hi, Agile. Now, if you don't do the Shoryuken, he'll drop platforms, you're just gonna have to time your Magnemites carefully. However, I can do this. And X is standing on spikes, what? No, this cannot be. Master, avenge me. Wait, I thought Sigma was your master. Oh, he's back, isn't he? Great. Mega Man villains sure are persistent, aren't they? Unless that's the RPGs, in which case they always change. Eh, well. Eh, we're kick ass right now. We can probably kick his ass even better than we did last time. But with that, I actually have to go refill one of my sub tanks because I like having all four of those things filled. Hi, Bubble Crab. How are you? No, I've always loved the soundtrack, uh, the, so the sound clip for entering a stage. But with that, I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time on Let's Play Mega Man X2, we'll be heading into the final stages of the game for real. See you guys then.